Hey, what's up, fam? Hey, thank y'all for tuning in once again, as always. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. So, Miss Lotto is back in the news again for this week. And I think all these stories are coming out. Well, come to find out that all these stories are out because Miss Lotto is up for a Grammy this weekend. Who the thunder? Uh, I don't watch the Grammys, I haven't watched any award shows in years since I was a kid, since I was a kid, so, uh, you know, blame me for not, blame my heart and my head for not keeping up with this. Well, anyway, today's story is, uh, Lotto reveals her boyfriend pays all her bills. Quote, that's how it's supposed to be. Let's get into this because I know there are gonna be some comments about traditional, relationships by simping uh people is fake you know things like that but let's get into this topic and get into the story then we'll you know we'll we'll deep dive into it and explain a little bit lotto has revealed that her boyfriend pays all her bills and believes that's how every relationship should function the 777 rapper made the comments in an interview with Atlanta's Hot 107.9 radio station where she encouraged women to go crazy with their man so long as they're in a committed relationship. Hmm, if it's yours, go crazy, she said. I got the I got the bed, I got the lamb, I got the Birkins, I got the heart. I don't pay no bills. If he's coming like that, then yeah. You know, I really don't be understanding what these youngsters, how these youngsters be talking nowadays. They talking this slang and this broken English. My God, this is like text, me text messaging meets the hood, meets Ebonics, meets country, you know, and that's what this stuff is. Because I even watched the video and couldn't understand exactly what the hell she was saying. Uh, the radio host then interjected to clarify that Lotto is stacking all that cheese from her successful music career while her boyfriend covers the cost of her bill. Quote, I don't pay no bills, she replied. That's how it's supposed to be, though. If he's coming right, he's coming right. While it's unclear who Lotto's mystery man is, the big energy hit maker, isn't the only rapper who believes a partner should pay for everything. City Girl star JT confirmed last year that Lil Uzi Vert pays all her bills and joked that she doesn't even know what the first of the month is. Okay, here's the thing. Here's what's missing. One, like I said, people gonna say, gonna wonder if this is tradition. The answer is, is this, a, is this a traditional relationship? The answer is no. Not for a, as she would put it, a committed relationship. Because if it's a committed relationship, uh, number one, you being a public figure, I believe that you would divulge who your man is. Uh, <clears throat> especially if he's paying all the bills and doing all this stuff for you where you ain't got to worry about it. Uh, something missing from that. Two, if it is a committed relationship and he's paying all your bills, then where's the engagement ring and or wedding ring and why you're not married? Well, probably because you're 24, you're living your best life, you're in, you're in your career, and you don't have time for marriage, which is kind of one of the big problems we've had in our community where you have, you know, a lot of women who, you know, put their career first before, you know, family. And then before you know it, they went to school four years and then go another, then go to school a few more years trying to get these doctorates and practitioner degrees and stuff. And before you know it, they're 28, 30 years old. Now they want to settle down. And it's like, the guys you could have settled down with, well, hell, they're 28, 30 years old and they're settled down too. I mean, they're settled down at this point already. <clears throat> so your best bet is to get someone who is older, who's probably in their mid 30s, 40s, going up, or somebody who's in their 20s that you think that you can control and mold, which is what <clears throat> Most of these women think. I mean, true story. Uh, so that 
is the first, is, 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 is the problem. There's, it's not a traditional committed relationship, which makes me ask the question. Well, yes, it does make me ask this question. Is Lotto a side chick? I mean, if that's what she is, and I mean that is, you know, I am not knocking her for it, but it's why don't she, you know? Because her math ain't mathing to me, you know, being my age and seeing what I've seen and been through what I've been through in my life. Uh, her math is not mathing. Dude paying all your bills and nobody knows who he is. Most likely, the guy that you got is an older man who is either a hellified hustler, street hustler or multi-millionaire with businesses. So if he's older, he most likely has a woman, has a family probably, uh, who was under his wing, said he'll take care of you, you know what I'm saying? But make sure he put down that you can't be out there messing with nobody else. So you're in a committed relationship. Yes, you are. And if you mess around and do anything, if you catch you with anybody, your water's cut off. And at age 24, you probably pretty much was like, okay, I can deal with that. And maybe who knows, I can get away with something if need be. But that's what I think. <clears throat> I think the young, I, I mean, that's, 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 what I, that's what I think is going on. I could be wrong, you know, but like I said, history, you know, begs the difference. The next thing I want to talk about is why is it that the women rappers can be fake and phony, but the male rappers have to represent what they spit in their lyrics? I'm talking about the gangsters, the, the, you know, the thugs and all, and, 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 and those rappers. Uh, I remember a time when, when uh, rappers were the mouthpiece of the hood. Not necessarily the guys out there committing the, the crimes. Not out there robbing, not out there selling drugs, not out there pimping. You know, they were the one, like the drug dealers. I know cats who were rappers and were financed by the drug dealers in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? We was ready, you know, trying to put out records or try to, you know, go in the studio or whatever, try to drop a demo or whatever, because still time was expensive back in my day, back in the day. You know, the the, the street dudes, the, like I said, the dope dealers, those hustlers, those be the ones that we would go to for the finances for studio time. So, you know, so, but then something turned to where dudes said, you rapping about it, you gotta be about it. But nobody says that about actors on TV. You know, you get all the actors in the movies. They can be thugs, they can be killers, they can be Rambo, Predator, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Rocky. Uh, they can be Steven Seagal. Anything in the movies that they know is acting. Anything that, that, that's acting, that's not real, but on the street, nobody's checking them. But when you're rapping, about it. Hell, you can even be a singer and act like you just this big lover boy. And everybody know that, you know, you probably a woman abuser, got a bunch of kids and just, but they know that you just a singer singing some of these stories and ain't real. They won't check you. But yet, the women rapper, the young ladies, not the older ones, they rap about being independent, being bosses, playing these dudes, uh, don't want to settle down, you know, tricking these dudes off of their money, blah, blah, blah. But you see this young lady here, you see young Miami, JT, you know, uh, but, you know young Miami, I think she's one of these side chicks. There you go. Uh, what's up, the Cardi B, uh, even Megan Thee Stallion. They have boyfriends and or, or married. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they are in a they are in a quote unquote committed relationship. But nobody dogs them out about being false and phony on the mic. Why is that? That's the question y'all can y'all can uh, answer. Talk amongst yourselves and uh, maybe put it in the comment. 
But uh, <clears throat> once you sign a panel bill, she replies, I supposed to be though, if he's coming right, he's coming right. All right. <clears throat> Say, Juicy J, now let's go back. Say, Juicy J and YK Osiris have also advocated for men paying all the bills, saying it's the right thing to do, so I truly respect their woman. Quote, there's nothing wrong with paying a woman's bills. We gotta stop this BS. Juicy tweeted last March, man, y'all tripping, you MF, go to the strip club, throw your weekly check, then be talking about not paying no B. Man, stop it. Well, you shouldn't be going to the strip club throwing up your whole damn paycheck anyway. That's number one. Uh, number two, again, you paying your woman's bill. Now, if you got, I'm gonna say like, I'm, let me say it like this. If you got the money and y'all living separately, like I said, boyfriend and girlfriend, and you want to, you know, help her pay bills or whatever, or pay her bills, and you got the money, by all means. But again, there should be, but as if you, that's what you wanna do, that's what you do. But again, it's not the traditional role in a committed, monogamous, you know, main boy, main girl relationship. This is not the tradition. It's not how it's supposed to be. If it's that serious, if you paying your woman's bills, then there should be, some type of, uh, there should be some type of, you know, marriage decree somewhere in somebody's county records. That's all I'm saying. They say YK goes to say this state, this sentiment, saying in the interview last December that he pays for everything and has no problem with it. I do pay for everything. He attends. I pay for bills and stuff like that. I never let a woman pay for her hair and nails. That's off the rip. Nope. You're not paying for no hair and nails. That's my thing. I don't know about other ends. I just know what I do. Again, if you got it, go and do it. But if you respect your woman that much, you know what I'm saying, and she like say she your man, chick, that's that's that the third, then I guess I don't understand why there's no I said there's no ring anyway. But anyway, tell me what you think about this story. Like I said, that's all I got. Uh like I said, who's her man? Like I said, I think it's like I said, I think he's an older guy. He probably has a family or probably got other females and he them putting her stable because you know that's one thing that you can say that uh women are known to you know latch on you know so to a, to a well-known dude or, or a rich dude but she know he got like other women but i think they do that just because of the commitment because they don't really want the commitment themselves so they don't mind like sharing a dude that way they ain't got to deal with you 24 7 because i'm let me be honest with you in any relationship, I don't care if it's husband, wife, kids, work related, or your dog on dog. Nobody wants to be around nobody 24 hours a day. I'm sorry. I don't care if you're married 70 years, uh, seven years, 20 years, dating that long, known each other your whole life. Nobody wants to see anybody and be around any human being for 24 hours a day. You know, that's like what that Patrice O'Neill told that joke about you no know, husband and wives telling wives, look, your husband, what do you say, wants you there. You know what I'm saying? He don't want you just like right next to him, but he wants you to be around, you know, but not in his space 24 seven. And I believe that's the same thing for the women. It's like the women try to do these girl trips and all that kind of stuff. Wanna go out and kick it. They don't want to be under no man all day. They don't want to be, you know, they work all day. Most of them, they, you know, they come home and they take care of the house or whatever. They want to go out and kick it. They don't want to see, like I said, they don't want to see that man 24 7. I mean, hell. It just, it, it, it just ain't natural. So I believe, like a lot of these women have seen situations like that and they don't want to do it. So they want to be with somebody that ah, they can come and go as they please. I see you when I see you. You don't ask no questions. I don't ask no questions. And it is what it is. And we just making sure we real with each other. That's the main thing. If you're real with each other, that type of great relationship will probably work. It will probably work. Anyway, that's all I got. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below and then share it with the world. And with that being said, I leave you in peace and I'll see you on the other side.